Okay everyone, hello and uh, it's Borya here and welcome back to my AMV tutorials. Today we will take a look at some transitions. Well, uh, well then, what is a transition? Well, it's the effect between two clips. For example, right here you got one clip, you got another clip, and right here you get your transition. Uh, this transition right here, just this one, is like a fade over to the other clip, so it becomes like the clip fades over to the other clip. That's the transition between the clip. You can check it out right here. Yeah, you saw it like faded over. You can see both of the clips overlaid right here. Yeah, this that's what transition mostly are. It's fades or different effects going from one clip to another. Uh, then, what's this over here? I'm sure one, many of you have seen the Black Bullet AMV I'm working on. This is just like the beginning of it. But, uh, you, as you can see, I got plenty of transitions all over the place. Here, 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 here. Uh, and I'm gonna go over the basic ones and the ones I use the most. Uh, so I'm just gonna show you the this one if you haven't seen it already and then I'm gonna talk about some of the transitions I have. Right, so I'm sure you saw some of the transitions I used. For example, uh, this one right here is pretty obvious. Uh, when you see like the sword shine, shine, I added like a white uh, transition, so it become goes to white and then it fades out to the next clip. So it has like the motion of the sword and then the light hits and it sparks like a an entire white screen and then the next clip comes. Um, but yeah, let's uh, have a look at some transitions, right? Here, like, let's continue with the AMV, sh shall we? <coughs> right here, you can see it has no transition. And yeah, it just goes from one clip to another instantaneous, insta instantaneously in one frame. So let's have a look at transitions. Uh, transitions. Where do I find these? It's under effects. Uh, you can find them here. Uh, effects shift seven. It says. I'm not sure if that's for you, it's same for you, but effects, and then you will get like that window right here. And you have some uh, presets and whatnot. But uh, audio effects, audio transitions. You can use transitions for audio as well. And then video trans uh, transitions. And then here's some folders with a lot of different types of transitions. The ones I usually use are dissolves. That's the ones that are like fading to another. So for example, cross dissolve, it's like, it just uh, fades it over in between. With no other effect, it just fades it over. Uh, and then you have additive dissolve, I'm not sure. Uh, it's just like the cross dissolve, but it makes it a bit bit brighter in the transition. I'm not sure why or why it's any different, but it's something. Uh, dip to black, basic. It dips to black between the two clips. Fades to black and then it fades back up. Same goes for white. I showed you that one before. It goes to white and then it goes back out. Uh, Dither dissolve is like pixelated. I never use, use list. It's not cool. But then there is... F yeah, you can just mess around with these types of dissolves. You, you know where to find them right now. But... Um, yeah. 
so let's uh, let's just talk a little bit about when to use transitions and why you should use them. You can play around with this uh, later. It's there's a lot of lot of different types, so I'm not gonna go into everyone. Uh, but when are you gonna use uh, transition? Well, I usually use transition when it's it's like called for when the it's when you when you watch it and the flow is not right and when you need to like transition over to another clip more smoothly for example right here it's this has the like same same light and same everything so it's it doesn't need a transition but when it goes to another clip i usually use a transition for example this is from the same these two are from the same this is not i transition over next one is a totally different one i transition to that one and then this one continues just like it's the same one and right here i use a uh, transition just because i wanted the, the sword to be in screen a lot longer because of the like flash it's it's, it's cool effect this is actually a transition in the OP so I didn't even do make that one I just kinda copy it later right here and used it to another clip uh, let's uh, look at some of, of the ones I use so for right here it goes from pretty dark to yellowish you're gonna need a transition or else it would be kinda weird I don't really know what to use right here, but maybe a additive should be fine. And what I usually do, as you can see here, that's one is a bit small. This is way too big when you just add it, and it's default. You want to like pull it down a bit. Let's watch. See how smooth that went. But make sure when you add transitions that your clips don't go too far like for example right here I know it's uh, pretty cool when you like drag it here you can see one clip on the left and one clip on the right uh, the one on the left is the dark one and I don't want the bug in the transition so I need to go right here uh, and I can maybe go nope that's too far R right around here let's watch this so smooth uh, yeah what do you also want to think about when you add transitions maybe uh, is think of the motion in the clip you're using uh, for example right here she jumps right she comes down left I know she should be coming down the other way but uh, I didn't feel like changing it because this frame right here she come from the right to the left uh, so just think about uh, the motion as well so everything has a flow to it for example she's running here she comes running here and then it's like zoom out zoom in zoom out yeah it's try to meet, match the motions with each other just think about when you're doing transitions not go too far for example Okay, this one can go over here. This shouldn't be. This should be. Yeah, right at start. I can't pull it any longer. See? Should it be right at start? And you can use really short ones as well if you want, like, uh, uh, not, 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 yeah, let's just not use black. Let's use white. You can do bright flashes with the uh, white ones. Uh, just bring them though, uh, down so there are just a few frames and you see it's just a bright flash really useful transition I use it over right over here and you also use it back here then if you want to go really advanced I can you can do stuff like this this is uh, uh, from one episode when the like shell is launching so I used the uh, uh, brightness of the shell launching 
to make a transition and I just put it overlaying and then I dipped it to white to fade it out to this clip. Seem you seem you get it now, don't you? Like you just need to you just need to my like make it so it doesn't feel choppy. It has to be it needs a flow to it. Yep. So this was this was transitions. Uh, as I said, you need to like play around with everything. I am not pos I can't show you everything, but I show you the ones I usually use on the dissolve because I like them those the most. Uh, yeah, so uh, this is just a short one. Next time I will be showing some common effects I use. Uh, but until next time, see you around.